All right, what's up, everybody? Good morning. So it is, uh, it's Tuesday, almost nine o'clock in the morning, East Coast time. I'm in North Carolina, getting ready to pound out 500 and something miles, probably about 10 hours plus of riding, depending on stopping for video. But getting going with Greg's Ride to the Races. Uh, this is the, really the third edition, but this is a big one. So I'm off to Road America from North Carolina, uh, and I'm gonna do it in three days. So I'm not going directly up there because honestly, tomorrow gets pretty boring until the end of the ride because today I'm gonna ride about three hours of, of freeway. And then when I get to Whiteville in Virginia, I'm gonna peel off and I'm gonna do a bunch of back roads heading to Cincinnati. Stay overnight, Cincinnati, and then pretty much from Cincinnati, you know, heading up to Road America is pretty boring. So I'm gonna peel off over to Galena and get some roads over there. It should be pretty pretty fun. But um, bikes all packed up and ready to roll. The day today is, uh, well right now it's about 75 degrees, it's ridiculously humid. And so I'm just sitting here all zipped up, just sweating. Uh, but so far so good. There's supposed to be thunderstorms all along this ride all day long. So fingers crossed. The plan miles today is something short of 600 miles. So for those of you in Europe, that's about what? I don't know, 60 miles an hour. It's a lot. 720K? I don't know. Let's see, 100 is, 100K is 62. So yeah, it's gonna be just short of a thousand kilometers today, riding. That'll be the plan. So, we're gonna get out on the road. The question is, do I head to Greensboro Ducati and get a new windscreen? Because they have one there waiting for me and it's a little bit larger. And that windscreen is really good, except it's about this much too short. But the issue is with the windscreen is that when it's really hot, the cool thing about the Ducati is you just, it's literally one touch. You can move the windscreen down and up. So I move the windscreen down and then that gives me like uh, some more airflow. So. I have about an hour to Greensboro, uh, to motorcycles and Ducati in Greensboro to get that windscreen. So I've got to make that decision. But either way, I'm going to stop chit-chatting with you people and I'm going to get on the road. Back at Motorcycles of Greensboro here in the Ducati shop because a larger windscreen is gonna go on. And King's working on this thing right now, but the question is, what's it look like? So we got just a little bit and then the sides are the same, which I really like, I like that idea. So you can see the edge here versus here. So that's cool. And these guys were kind enough to even slide me in. I mean, I, I came in unannounced. I thought, man, if you just hand me a Torx, I could do it myself, but they rolled me back here. And these guys are awesome. Really appreciate the service. That's, that's different. That's gonna be a little bit of a, a different look down the road for sure, that smoke. But it's, it, you know, being six foot two and a quarter, six foot two and a half, that extra little bit is gonna make a huge difference, especially with the ADV helmet that I ride, that, that Arai XD4, because I tend to ride with the bill on all the time, which isn't great for highway riding, so that little bit of extra windscreen is gonna be huge. So just a quick pit stop, we're only about an hour and a half into, maybe an hour into my first leg, headed to Moto America, Road America, and, uh, Weather is really, really iffy right now. So there's some high clouds, there were some sprinkles, so fingers crossed. But I can tell you this, from here, I'm going highway another couple hours till I get to Whiteville, Virginia, and I'm gonna be going over some mountains. So my guess is it's gonna start getting a little bit soupy. So is what it is, riding a motorcycle. But thanks again to all the folks here at Motorcycles of Greensboro and especially 
the master technician known as King for a reason. We don't know exactly why he's called that, but that happens. So he's buttoning the thing up. We're gonna get on the road. Little smoke screen wind, uh, little smoke windscreen action here. So you'll definitely be able to pick this thing out and can't wait to give this a try because with 21 days of riding a motorcycle ahead of me, that extra little bit might be all the difference in the world. All right, so I'm getting ready to leave Motorcycles of Greensboro, and as I'm doing that, Harold shows up and says, man, let's go for a ride. So <laughs> I'm good, man. How are you? Oh, great. Hey, it's good to always find someone to ride with. Uh, this got me a KTM Super Duke GT, so I still got my Harley jacket. Yeah, I see yeah. that, but yeah. look at that thing. That bike is beautiful. Yeah. I like it. How, how many miles you got on it, Harold? Uh, 22,000. Nice. All yeah. right. Cool. All right, so we're going to pack her up. Yes, sir. And we're going to get on the road. Harold's going to basically take me to I-40, and we're going to head west. And then when he's ready to peel off, he'll peel off. So, dude, you're the first person to ride with me on Greg's Ride to the Races this year. Wow. So appreciate well, it. We're going to see how far we go because I got my wallet and payday just hit. Oh, boy. <laughs> Are you going all the way to Cincinnati with me? We might. All right, let's find out. <laughs> see you in a bit. Ride day complete, and it was an interesting long day. Ended up leaving the house to when I finally got to the hotel, it was about 11 and a half or 12 hours. Total mileage was 538 miles, I believe. Got to meet Harold, really nice guy. He rode with me all the way to Virginia to Withville, Whiteville. I don't know how you pronounce it. Sorry for everybody who lives there. And we ended up having a little lunch and chatting out. And so that took up another hour and a half or so. Really interesting cat. Retired military and now just got rid of his Harley, got the KTM, and, man, he's off to the races. You know, he's, he's, he's running it. So uh, he didn't know. He just saw me vlogging and had no idea about Moto America or anything like that. So he knew some folks um, in the motorcycle world for sure. But he's now turned on to Moto America, so it was really nice to, to meet him. After he went his separate way, I had another few hours on the freeway, and then it was to the back roads. And it was uh, very interesting in West Virginia. A lot of it was highway or road route 52. And 52 is absolutely stunning scenically. There are tons of little towns on 52, so definitely slowed like slowed the pace but if you're familiar with the Hatfield McCoy trail system a lot of these little towns that we were in were very motorcycle and ATV friendly so if you're on the Hatfield McCoy trail system on a motorcycle or you're on a UTV or an ATV or whatever no license plate needed you can get off the trail ride through town and then basically spend money in the town you know whether it's gasoline whether it's at the you know uh, Walgreens or you know at mcdonald's or whatever it is so it was cool to see a lot of that ride that i had was these little towns and hatfield mccoy and then i was about two and a half hours away from getting to the hotel in wilder i think it's wilder kentucky and the skies opened up so it was uh it was messy however with that said it fluctuated between 69 degrees and 74 degrees 75 when it was raining relatively comfortable um, but in driving rain like that, you're just you're just getting wet, and that's that's all there is to it. So good ride in the books today. Tomorrow is going to be a lot of uh, freeway. It's going to be about the same mileage, 
but it'll be shorter because there's more freeway to speak of. But instead of going straight up, as I mentioned in the video earlier, I'm going to be going to Galena, Illinois. So thanks for joining me on the ride today. And thanks to all the people that are supporting the ride. More stuff coming at you as Greg's Ride to the Races presented by Hudson Valley Motorcycles continues two more days to get to Road America. Thank you.